I'm going to play through Raging Bulls, and I'm going to aim for a score of unbelievable. This is Legendary Tactics. So welcome to a playthrough of Raging Bulls. So we're going to start at uh, first field, field A, and uh, as you can see up here, there's three bulls in this field, so we're going to roll two dice, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the uh, the light uh, tan die as the um, uh, column, and the dar uh, darker die here is going to be for the row, and so let me get my pen tool and change the color of the ink and uh, what I recommend is uh, when you're if you hit the minus key a couple times it gives a pretty good uh, you know basically a pretty good uh, thickness for the uh, pen tool so we have four and three which is here and then the only thing is you have to toggle back and forth a bit but that's okay two and four all right, and the last one, four and five. Uh, yeah, if you do roll the same uh, number, you can uh, re-roll. So, all right, we'll bring the third die in here. And so, um, so I'm going to try and isolate uh, these guys. So I have the double there, but that doesn't really matter to me uh, right at the moment um, because I don't really have a um, any any uh, fences built yet, so it doesn't really have much of an advantage. Okay, so I'm going to just do that. Um, see if I can spot. So I think double threes would be uh, great here. Um, or sorry, three, I guess three of a kind would be great. Um, a four and a two looks like it would work well. Three and a two. Yeah, I can make that work. So I'm going to do that one. I think it's good to just kind of, you know, try and spot some good, you know, opportunities for um, closing uh, closing the bulls in and separating them especially like that if I get a three and four I'm gonna be driving a right across there for example um, all right so one and two okay so I can use this one again and join it to that two I think that's a pretty good move that means that bull is fairly easy to isolate from there okay We'll see what we can do with this. Hmm, six, three, and two. I've had a lot of threes and twos. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to see where I can cut through. I really want a three and four, then that'll solve that issue. But let's do a six and whoops, six and two should do the trick here, I think. So that's with the one bull isolated. Okay, and that's not bad. Got two bulls, oh, five and five. Not really that helpful. Oops, keep forgetting to uh, toggle it over. Okay. Surprising sometimes in this game how often three of a kind comes up. <laughs> All right, one and three. I think that's our ticket to finishing this field. Yep, that's all the bulls separated and isolated. So now we move on to the next field. So we've done pretty well there. Next up, so once again, we're going to do the uh, the light uh, tan die here is going to go for the column, this one for the row. It's nice how the dice go uh, straight up <laughs> straight up and down so you, you're not going to knock, uh, they don't go rolling off the table. So we've got four bulls in this case that we have to uh, place. So we got th 
three and six. Okay. And six and two. And one more. I'm not sure I haven't uh, played this game often enough to know whether it's good to have them all close together or spread out. I would imagine spread out would be best of all. Uh, two and three. So we have these guys right next to each other. Okay, so there's four. And now we bring in the other die into the equation. So we've got, uh, oh boy, so to split these guys, that's a bit of a tricky one. Two and three would probably do it. So that's going to be a priority is to split those guys across uh, if I can. Um, yeah, that guy's right on the edge of the field too. So that's going to be a little bit tougher to isolate but um, okay we're gonna do six and two because that at least seals off the bottom part of the map for most of the most of the bulls there and it shouldn't be hard to uh, two and six hmm well we could use the double which I'm tempted to do to just go here and then that I think uh, in general you want to keep as many fence posts obviously it's a scoring thing but you also want to keep many fence posts uh, separate or, sorry you want to keep as many fence posts um, free of uh, fences <laughs> because that gives you the most flexibility uh, right so um, this is going to be an interesting option here. Okay, so we're going to do, and this is going to be tricky, but I'm going to do, I think the five and four makes the most sense. There, and then we've got that other bull separated with a four, and yeah, it's going to be a bit tricky to. I don't like the, the bulls when they're right on the edges, it makes it a bit trickier. Okay, so now we got six and three. So, well, it's awkward, but I just don't know if that makes sense. That's going to be, I think uh, we're going to need doubles on those guys if, we're, if it's going to work. But that is a no-no because that goes right through. And I just don't see... <sighs> yeah, I'm going to just... Oops. I'm going to just undo that. I'm just going to erase this guy here. <laughs> and I think what's going to work well will be... I think what's going to work well uh, is actually going to be this one here. So I got double sixes, so I can play this, and then as long as I get like a two and a five or something, I can I can work with that. So all right, we'll see how this goes. Two and three. Well, that's the one I was kind of looking for to separate those guys. Getting a little bit narrow on choices here, um, but we'll do this because I really want to separate those two. And now, with a oh, some ones, we could probably make this work. Let's see, five, five and two. Sheesh. Um. Well, we can do this. That's at least one bull isolated, so there's some points. Double one and four. <laughs> All right. So um, maybe we can do, actually, I think that line will work. You can just kind of eyeball these things sometimes. 
and uh, just get a good idea that this may just separate. Oh no, that's already an isolated. That's already the isolated one. Yeah, there's. I think this has got to be the one. It's one to four across the bottom. Ah. Oopsie. Let's see. Luckily, the eraser work tool works really well on this, just in case. All right. <coughs> So go from one, two, four. No, that's not going to work. <sighs> one, two, four isn't going to help at all. Hmm. Just, man, that would have been perfect. Um, one to four. Not maybe the best move, but kind of sets up the couple of them to maybe be isolated soon I hope <laughs> gonna need some good rolling here I think to make this one work uh, yeah I think this guy one to six is really the best Get that other bull isolated it's perfect five and four. Okay, well this gives us a bit of an opportunity maybe. Let's see. Okay, I got double five so I can reuse that one. Reuse a five. Unfortunately all the fours are kind of used up. Huh, that doesn't really help. Five and a two would have been awesome. But you can't have can't always get what you want. Yeah, the fours are kind of all used up here, so uh, I'm gonna use the just to build a fence off to the side here. I know it uses up that four, but I just don't know. There's no easy choices here. Alright, so one and two. That one I think will work to isolate that guy. Oh shoot, yeah, there's too many. Hmm. A lot of the twos are used up here. And the ones. I think this is the only move I can do. Um sorry, let's see, just double check the fives here. Yeah, it does not look very good, so I'm just gonna have to so now the question is, oh actually, now I see the 5 and the 2, I think that's good here. Oh yes, that's right, I can't do that, shoot, <laughs> I burned that bridge already. I don't know if I can isolate that one, I don't think I can. So what am I looking at here, 5 and 2? So I might, I'm going to have to leave this field incomplete. I'm just wondering, is it even doable uh, if I roll a... I need to roll maybe a 1 and a 5 or a 4 and a 1. This is a bit of push your luck here because if I roll badly this could be a mallet. We'll see. Give it one go. All right, six and f three. <laughs> yeah, this is not, fives are mostly used up. Can I do that? No, that's not gonna work. Ah, uh, darn it, that might have been my mallet. Figured you have to push your luck a little bit. Uh, let's just double check. Um, three and five. Nowhere that c I can go. Yeah, there's just no fives. There's that one five. Well, you know what? I can do this. And I'll, I think I'll just leave the field because uh, just connect the three and the five. <clears throat> I'm just running out of out of out of options on that one. I think. All right. So we'll so we'll grab these uh, die here. And move them down to the next field. 
So we've got five bulls to worry about now. Three and three. It's easy to find. And three and two. I had this in another game recently where I just got freakishly weird luck with the rolling and I had all the bulls lined up in a row. I completed the field, but it was a bit... Oh, man, lots of doubles. And I don't... I really don't know if I like those guys off on the side there. I think the way the distribution is actually supposed to work, you're supposed to basically get more of these in the center. Well, I guess it, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it's pretty even distribution, actually, come to think of it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So, all right, here we go with this one. Let's zoom in a bit for, so we got four and two. So four and two. Well, in the early going, I don't imagine it, it really matters that much. Let's uh, split these guys up here. All right, three and five and four, lots of choices. Oh, okay, those guys are gonna need to be split by a three and two. This one I'm really not sure about. Um, all right, what does three and... I'm gonna try and leave that guy open because I need that three to split those, guy, those two bulls up. So I'm gonna do this, I think. Not even sure how much it matters in the early going. Oh, five and six. Um, again, just trying to save fence posts. I'm going to go here at least. That does the job for that guy there. Huh, four and one. I uh, kind of got a weird angle here I think I can take advantage of. Again, just in the interest of saving fence posts. Let's do that. And one and two and six. And I need a three and two to split those. So I've got to keep those guys open. Uh, one and six. Could that maybe slice just between those two. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> um, one and two. Well, I guess I can do that and I successfully isolate the one bull. So that does the trick there, but now I need oh, two and two. Yikes. Um, I think the only one that makes sense is this one. Darn it, I really am getting in trouble here. I'm trying to split those guys up. Okay, I, I sense an uncompleted field coming up, but we'll see what I can pull off here. Four and five. Um, all right, well, I think this will probably help out. Then if I can just get one across, then I'll isolate that guy. And, hmm, okay. That is interesting. Um, can I use that six? Not really. Well, let's see if this angle works here. Oh, oh darn it. Six. Yeah, I can sense an uncompleted field here. This could be awkward. 
2 and 3 there it is but I've used that 2 all the 2's around there all the 2's have almost been used uh, let's see here 2 2 2 so the 1 2 available so it's only 1 6 I'll try that one and Hope for a double. I just, unless I get lucky here with some doubles, this is going to be hard for, hard to pull out. Six and three. Yeah, this is going to be very tough to pull out. Four and three. It doesn't really help much. Three and four, no. Three and... I wish I, I really could have used a one. All right, well, this is probably. Oh, man, this is not good. I need that three and. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Just got to study the board sometimes. <laughs> you really don't think you got a better move. Probably if you're observing this, it's like so painful because you can see the move that I can't. <laughs> um, let's see. Sixes are all used. So that is out. And the two and the five, there's only the one option. Yeah. Hmm. There really isn't a lot of... <sighs> the only thing I can hope for is a 3 and a 1. Or a 1 and 1. Just to maybe i got to go one more time here. Let's see how this goes. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Just what I needed. I'll seal that guy off. And I think that's as good as it's going to get. Those two are not going to get split. So moving on, still, still got all my mallets, and we are in pretty decent shape. Okay, so we're going to roll. We got five bulls here that we need to worry about. Six and five, right there. Six and five. Uh, yeah, that's the reroll. One and four. One and five. Oh man, I always get these guys right close to each other. So that's three. So only three left. Uh, four and six. Okay. Four and two. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And six and two. All right. Get the third die in here. And here we go. Four and six. Bit of an obvious choice, I think. Okay. Ah, five, four, and two. I do not see um, can't see how that's a bad move again early on I don't know if it matters so much where you put these these fences because you really don't know it's really the decision making there oh yeah you know what I gotta do that because 
I just see that opportunity. Well, maybe these uh, moves do turn up early enough in the game to make a difference. So that, we'll split those guys. I like that formation. That looks good to me. Five and one. Cut through there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Oh, I'm going to roll those properly. There we go. All right, three and six. Uh, shoot. I think this is a decent move. So we got two isolated out of the out of the six. Ah, nice flexible kind of roll, somewhat anyway. Hmm, I really want to use this to. I think this will be the best move here. Yeah, I'll take it off. I think that's the best one. I think it's good to stay out, like use up the fence posts on the rows where there's there's no angle on a two on these guys. So you may as well just use that. Um, okay, three. I wish a double four would have been a no-brainer, but. Um, okay, three. Three and four. There's only the one four available. Rolled a lot of those, and there's actually only two, th well, there's a bunch of threes available, but it does not really help my cause. Uh, three and four. Four does not really help me at all. No reroll on this, I suppose. All right, five. So there we go. Yeah, that's a good one. It's an easy one. Five and oh shoot, no, it isn't. <laughs> five and two is what I was thinking, but that is not going to help. Uh, five and two. I don't know if that that may even be touching that bull. Yes, I could see just a little bit better rolling, and I could be getting this one done too. But we'll see. I can't even isolate that guy anymore, so he's isolated, isolated, so I really need um, like a six and a six, or six and double four. <sighs> Yikes, I don't think I can join these guys, well. Yeah, that's gonna go right over top of that. Huh, that's a tough, tough decision there. Let's see, there's one other, I can do one and two here. Is that gonna go over the, yeah, it's gonna go right over the bull. Darn it. I think I have to use my first mallet. Is that did not go well. Alright, so what am I looking at here? I need, in order to separate this guy, uh, I need a pair of ones. Or, a pair of ones will do it. 
Need a pair of fours on this one or a pair of sixes. Gosh, pair of ones. Three and one would get me close, but yeah, I just don't see. There's not a lot of options. And as far as cutting this guy off, so isolating this guy. So if I were to roll a pair of sixes, that would... Oh no, I'd need three sixes, sorry, uh, to connect that. Yeah, I think... I don't see any options here. There's nothing really that benefits me, so I'm going to call it. Alright, so let's add this up here. So completed field one, so that's three. That's three times three is nine plus. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that field there is twenty-two. Okay. Over here, we have, uh, we don't have a completed field, so I only score the, the cows there, so that's one, sorry, the cows, I keep calling them cows, they're bulls, uh, so I only get eight points on that guy because of that. All right. <coughs> Field number five, uncomplete, uncompleted field, but I get three bulls um, isolated at five points each. It's 15. And here, this one was tricky. I got two at six points each plus six points for six points for the ma unused mallets so let's add this up 30 45 uh, 57 63 so final score of 63 in this case where does that put me respectable so that's a respectable game, um, and uh, it's actually quite a, quite a bit of fun. It's a nice little uh, time waster kind of game. Not a tremendous amount of strategy, but it's kind of fun to choose where the fences go and how to, uh, you know, how to best use the the die roll that you've been given. So, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Legendary Tactics, and I'm Nato Potato. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.